Absurd. 10 on-chain games compete for big investments. Make sure you're subscribed to The Coos because tomorrow Peenan and I are hosting a very special X space with the teams working through the Cytel Gaming Academy in partnership with Mythical Games. Investment opportunities await the winning team with only four progressing through the upcoming elimination round. There's an on-chain prediction market on the Zeitgeist chain running bets on the winner, currently implying 2% chance of winning for 8-bit arcades indie game platform, a 3% chance of winning for chrono turn-based strategy mobile games, 4% each for Hexalim's on-chain civilization strategy game and ERM Labs VR escape rooms. 6% chances are shared by Zexify's prediction gaming markets and dead games when launch and ooh. Market is predicting an 8% chance for Skylab's hyper beautiful RPG game. Major opportunity here, in my opinion. Smashball is given 12%. The Great Escape has 15, but the clear favorite today is Chain Foods Everloot game with 39%. But will Academy investors put their money into what's locally popular? Or are there other elements of game building they're looking for? Join us tomorrow at 10 a.m. UTC, where Peenan and I will get to the bottom of it so you can place your bets. But first, let's hear from Peenan on some broader NFT news. In this week's broader crypto update between the SEC trying to argue that ETH is a security and ETH itself exploring retroactive and quadratic funding, Google integrates NFTs. ENS is Ethereum name service, which is basically an ID NFT on the ERC721 standard, or wrapped in at 1155. Google has now directly integrated ENS with search, showing wallet balances and everything, and the government is trying to tell you that crypto is for the dark web? And and here's a UE banning crypto wallet transfers, kinda sorta. Even if you, as so many of you love to say, hate NFTs, you gotta admit that a readable ID is easier than typing a string of random numbers and letters as an address. And these IDs are becoming more and more important to our online reputations, be it for airdrops or social recognition or KYC. These NFTs are quickly becoming crucial to Web3. Back to you, Jay. Thank you, sir. So again, that space is tomorrow at 10 a.m. UTC on the Kusamarian X account. And hey, the Coos Validator is now 43% toward our goal of 9 million in DOT nominations. Even with a few DOT, you can stake with our friends at Talisman. It gets the Coos closer to the active set. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody.